In this video, we'll compute an integral using partial fraction decomposition. As part of that, we'll illustrate the heavy side method for finding coefficients. We've already computed this integral, but when we computed it, we weren't able to see where the partial fraction decomposition came from. I just said that this rational expression could be rewritten. Let's now actually do the work behind that. To do partial fraction decomposition, you need to be able to factor the denominator. And of course, in a lot of real world situations, factoring by hand isn't so easy, but I suppose this problem was designed to work out nicely. That's x plus 3 times x minus 1. So we factored the denominator. We have two linear terms. And the partial fraction decomposition is as follows. Each linear term will give us a rational expression with real numbers up there. Now we need to find A and B. And what we're going to do is multiply both sides of this equality by the denominator. Let's rewrite the denominator in its factored form. When you multiply on the left by the denominator, the denominator just goes away. When you multiply on the right by the denominator, you see that cancellation occurs. And we have this. So rewriting that cleanly, 2x plus 2 equals a times x minus 1 plus b times x plus 3. And now I'm going to state the so-called heavy side method. We talked about the heavy side function briefly in calculus one. If this name sounds familiar, same person. And the heavy side method only works if the denominator factors cleanly as the product of linear terms. In the next video, we'll see what happens if the denominator is more complicated. 
this equality is not true for one, and it's not true for negative three. One and negative three would give you division by zero errors. The heavy side method says, however, that once you have cleared the denominator, you should let x be one and x be a negative three. And where these come from is that one will make this zero, negative three will make this zero. So when we plug in x equals one, we get four over here. This is a zero. So we get I just realized that this is not the example I put into the video, um, into the last video, but never mind, we'll power through this example. If we let x equal one, then four equals four b, and b equals one. And if we let x be negative three, now this becomes negative four. Let's see, negative three minus one, this also becomes negative four. This becomes a zero when you stick negative three in here. So A and B are both one. And this rational function that we are integrating can therefore be rewritten as the sum of these simpler rational functions. And in fact, this and this are both simple enough to integrate. If you struggle with either of them, they can both be done using U substitution. You get this natural log plus this natural log plus a constant of integration. That's the basic idea behind um, partial fraction decompositions. And we're really only going to look at cases where the decomposition is nice, where we have nice linear terms in the denominator. In the next video, we will look at a case where we have irreducible quadratic instead of linear terms. But our main take home message from that video is going to be that partial fraction decompositions aren't a very useful tool in that setting.
this, where we have these linear terms, is where this really shines.